It's December 1st and I have been waiting almost two months to open this package, so let's do it together. So I went to New York City in early October with my mom and my sisters, had a great time, and we did all the Harry Potter things. So I bought myself a little treat. It's the Harry Potter advent calendar. I just decided that I need my very own advent calendar every year. I always get them for my kids, but I finally decided that it's time to treat myself to my very own each year because who doesn't love to open a surprise every morning? So let's take a look at what's in day one. I'm so excited. Okay, here's a better look. Harry Potter premium potions themed advent calendar includes jewelry and accessories. I did get this at the Harry Potter store in New York City. It was $100, but again, it was time to treat myself, right? So I also asked one of the employees if they change these every year, like if they have a new advent calendar every year. Oh, look at the little like door knobs, how cute. She said that they do, there's a new one every year. And also there was only one of these left. So I don't know if the store does that to create an urgency, but it totally worked on me. So let's open it up. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look how cute, oh my gosh, it's so fancy. I'm so excited. Okay, let's find day one. I think that's it. Okay, there's a note here for one. It says, note, this is an extremely dangerous potion. I cannot read that tiny. Something isn't supposed to be used. This potion isn't supposed to be used for transforming humans into animals. Okay, let's take a look at it. Okay. It's a lock and Oh, it's like the flying keys when they have to ride the broomsticks, right? Oh, that's really cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, this is like magnetic. And oh, again, magnetic. Let's see if this, oh, yeah, it unlocks. How cute. Okay, I put my little Harry Potter necklace on. It's so cute. And of course it's perfect with my Harry Potter sweatshirt today. Oh, this is why moms don't have advent calendars because we're so busy we forget to open them every day. This is days two, three, and four unboxing my very own Harry Potter advent calendar. And shout out to the person that let me know that the day one gift, which was this cute key necklace and this lock here on the front of the box is actually a lock for my advent calendar so no one else opens it. I actually love this little lock. I think it's so cute. And we're gonna get that off. All right, and here is day two. It's a big one. Oh, it's an ornament. It's like one of those ones that opens up too. So we can maybe put a little treat in there. And here is day three. Oh, this like is already coming out. It's like a little test tube. Um, oh, it's a pen. Cute. Okay, so I'm actually glad that I'm doing multiple days in one video because I don't know that I would have done a video for, you know, an ornament or a pen. So I can't promise every video will be for one box, but um, I might do multiples in one day like this. So let's do number four. And this is, oh, it's a scrunchie. Oh, I actually like this. I will totally use this. I think I saw this pattern on some pajamas that I really liked at the Harry Potter store in New York, but unfortunately they didn't have my size. I totally would have bought them because we watch the movie so often and I would love to wear those pajamas while I'm watching the movies. So I'll actually have to see if they have it online, but this is really fun. I will definitely use this. RIP to my mini Christmas tree because my daughter wanted one for her bedroom. We're just gonna stick with the plant now even though it is December, but this is day five of unboxing my Harry Potter advent calendar. All right, let's find, here is day five. Let's see what we have in for day five. Ooh, this is Ravenclaw. This is like the lost diadem of Ravenclaw, but obviously without like the tiara bits. Um, this will make a really pretty Christmas tree ornament. I guess you could also make it like a keychain. It has the little hook there. At the Harry Potter store in New York, they had actual props from the Harry Potter movies. 
So I'm gonna include a, a photo here of the diadem that was in the movie. This is actually embarrassing. I am seven days behind on my Harry Potter advent calendar unboxing. So let's get into it. We left off on day five. So let's see what's in number six. And this is a cute little potion bottle with earrings that say love potion, like from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And day seven has a pen in it with a little charm that says Aloha Mora, the unlocking spell. Day eight is another little potion bottle with a charm that says Obliviate. So I hope there's a bracelet coming for this. And day nine, let me shimmy it out here. It has a lanyard with all things Luna love good. We love Luna. Day 10, I was having a hard time figuring out how to get this one out, but I finally did. It's a cute pencil. And day 11, another little potion bottle. And this one has a charm. This has the Hogwarts castle on it. Something that makes this advent calendar a little more fun is there's like hidden compartments. So you have to pull other pieces out to find other boxes. We're looking for day 12 and it's behind these potion bottles. So let's see what's in it. Is it going to be a bracelet? Because I really need one to put those two charms on, but let's see what we got. It is a hairpin and it says Expelliarmus. I actually really love like this it's super cute things are looking up over here because I'm only three days behind on my Harry Potter advent calendar unboxing versus my last video, which was seven days behind. So let's get to days 13, 14, and 15. First, I gotta say, I think I broke the lock to this advent calendar, which is a bummer, but let's get into day 13. We get to go into some of these boxes behind the other boxes. It's a pin that says Lumos on it. This is probably gonna go on my daughter's backpack. She loves pins. And number 14, if you've been following along, you know I've gotten some charms in the other days. So I was excited to get this bracelet. I'm going to put all those charms on this bracelet in a sec, but let's see what we've got in day 15. Open it up and it is another charm. This one says Expelliarmus. Listen, I just got my nails done yesterday and my nail tech follows me. So I'm sure she's watching this, shaking her head as I try to open this bracelet with my nails. And y'all let me know, I think this Hogwarts charm goes on the bracelet too. To be honest, I don't wear a lot of bracelets. So let me know if you think it goes on a necklace, but I think this looks really cute. Up to day 15, which has been your favorite so far? This comment made me laugh out loud, but of course I'm behind. So let's get into days 16, 17, 18, and 19. I think I'm the worst advent calendar unboxing creator ever because I'm constantly behind, but let's get into it. I wanted to show the other side of this box because it really is so cool. And my sister has already claimed it. She puts out a beautiful Harry Potter collection every Halloween. So I told her she could have it. And this is day 16. It is a bookmark that says Expecto Patronum. This is really pretty and maybe it'll encourage me to read the books again. It's been a while, but this is day 17 and I thought this was really cute. It is a hair tie with the sorting hat on it. I love that there's so many hair accessories in this calendar because I'll totally use the scrunchie and the hair tie and the pins, probably more than the jewelry. And speaking of hair pins, we got another one. This one says Stupefy. The last one said Expelliarmus. So this is going to be a cute set together. And we got to do a little digging for day 19. It's back behind all these other boxes, but I just wanted to show you the details on these boxes because this really is so fun for big Harry Potter fans. And day 19 has a necklace that has a cauldron charm on it, which is really cute. Definitely giving witchy vibes. We're down to two videos in my Harry Potter advent calendar unboxing series. So let's get into days 20, 21, and 22. I'm sure some people are wondering why I don't just leave this box like disassembled so that it's easier to get to each day, but I actually find it kind of fun like going through this little puzzle. And day 20 is a pin or button, whatever you want to call it, but it says Wingardium Leviosa, not Leviosa. One of my favorite Hermione scenes. I think Hermione and I would have been friends, to be honest. And here is day 21. You can see me feeling around on this a little bit because I wasn't sure if there was anything in it. But it was just really light and small. And there is a bracelet in here. So this one says love potion. Super cute. And it actually matches a pair of earrings that were in another day. And last one for this video. This is day 22. And there is a bookmark in it. This one says Lumos. There was a bookmark another day. These are actually like really nice bookmarks. Definitely better than folding the corners of the pages. And as I was reassembling, my advent calendar like I do at the end of every video. I wanted to see where the other days are. So there's day 23 and day 24 is behind a few boxes here, but I realized there's no day 25. What? Is that normal that advent calendars don't have a day 25? Let me know in the comments because I'm curious. We are down to the last video in my Harry Potter advent calendar unboxing series. So let's finish this off and see what's in days 23 and 24. I've said this before, but this really is a beautifully detailed box for Harry Potter fans. This one is more focused on potions. So I wonder 
if each year they make the focus or theme a little bit different. So day 23 is a bracelet and this has the Deathly Hallows charm on it, which is perfect because I have some earrings to match it. When I was at the Harry Potter store in New York City, I asked one of the employees if they make a different advent calendar every year and she said they do. It's different every year. So I'm looking forward to next year's. Day 24 felt heavy, so I was getting excited and it is a keychain. It says Felix Felices on it. So I was excited to get this lucky potion keychain. What a great way to end this amazing advent calendar. Here's everything that came in this 24 day Harry Potter advent calendar that cost $100. I wanna know if you think it was worth it. Personally, I do think it was worth it. The box alone is such a beautiful keepsake. If you have a display or a bookshelf where you have your Harry Potter collection, this would be a great addition to that. I wanna know which day or gift was your favorite, so leave a comment. It's a tie for me between the Felix Felices keychain and the Ravenclaw diadem. I'm a Ravenclaw, so I love that one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with your Harry Potter besties and thanks for watching.